Is there any why, uh, can I ask you a question what your name badge number is? No, sir. No, sir? You can't, okay. Is there a reason why that you feel like you can speed down through here and break the traffic laws? You weren't speeding? Okay, well, what's your car number? Okay. Well, I've got you recorded speeding, so you're full of You sure you don't want me to give you your name, badge number? No, sir, I don't wish to be. Okay. Now this is what, how fast we're supposed to be going. 45. So what the speed limit is down through here? 45. And look at that. Is he doing 45? I don't think he's doing 45. Do you? Because he's leaving us a sitting. Yeah. So looks like he's a speed and he's leaving me. He is leaving me. And it's 45 down through here. Is there any why, uh, can I ask you a question what your name badge number is? No, sir. No, sir? You can't, okay. Is there a reason why that you feel like you can speed down through here and break the traffic laws? You weren't speeding? No, sir. Okay, well, what's your car number? Okay. Well, I've got you recorded speeding, so you're full of shit. You sure you don't want me to give you your name, badge number? No, sir, I don't wish to be. No. Okay. Yeah. Right. You'll be getting a formal complaint. I don't know why you feel you're above the law. You have to obey by the traffic laws just like everybody else. When you're not running an emergency, why you think you can do 55 mile an hour down Stone Drive, I have no idea, you piece of Welcome back to Weedy People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. Okay, if you made it this far through the video, I give you my word, you do not want to miss the rest that's coming up. Let's check the rest of this out. Guys. They got a warrant for that video pretty much I made the other night and everybody knows it and everybody's going to know it. This was pure retaliation. No question. I can't believe this. Got a warrant for three misdemeanors. All ticketable offenses. Just to make a show to me that they're not going to put up with what I'm doing. Plain and simple. Crazy thing is, is if I was speeding, well then so was he. Yeah, I'll take a look, look at this. Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. Howdy. Is there Mr. Gibbons here? Uh, yeah. Where's he at? 
Which bed is it? We gotta walk for his arrest. Oh. Alright, he's gonna get it. Which bed is it? Well. Man, we don't have a choice. He's gonna walk for his arrest. Okay. Okay, guys, let's get ready to go through all of this chaos. So let's deal with the speeding part first. Okay, the speed limit, according to Big G audits, was 45 miles per hour. And if you look closely, it was at one point where he was over 45 miles per hour. So if you want to be petty, yeah, you can write him a ticket for speeding. But the other side of it is this. The judge, whoever he or she was, completely ignored the fact that the cop was going at least 5 to 10 miles per hour faster than Big G Audit. And honestly, I can't imagine what these cops told the judge to get him or her to sign off on this warrant. Secondly, let's deal with the fact that he received a citation, which later turned into a warrant, for holding his cell phone while driving. So earlier I stated that I can't imagine what these cops told the judge to get him or her to sign off on this warrant, because there is absolutely no proof that Big G Audits was actually the one holding the phone. There is no evidence. It could have been a passenger in the vehicle. Just because you don't hear a second voice, that does not mean someone else was not there actually holding the phone. So the fact that he was actually holding the phone while driving is inconclusive. No judge in their right mind should sign off on that warrant. Also, let's take a look at the disorderly conduct charge. Was this really disorderly conduct? Yes, he may have said a couple bad words that were in public. But let's see what the state of Tennessee states about their disorderly conduct laws. Disorderly Conduct, Tennessee Code, Section 39-17-305. Disorderly Conduct, a person commits an offense who, in a public place, and with intent to cause public annoyance or alarm, engages in fighting or threatening behavior, refusing to obey an official order to disperse during an emergency, creating a hazardous condition without legitimate purpose, or being unreasonably noisy as to prevent, here is the key part, as to prevent others from lawful activities in public with intent to annoy the people. So in order for this to be disorderly conduct, he would have had to be preventing others from lawful activities. This did not happen. Again, I can't imagine what judge in their right mind would sign off on these warrants. But seeing that the judge did sign off on arrest warrants, that means these cops had the right to enter into the home and arrest Big G Audits, correct? No, incorrect. Let's read this. Stiegel versus the United States is a United States Supreme Court case which held that Based on the Fourth Amendment, a police officer may not, may not conduct a warrantless search of a third party's home in an attempt to apprehend the subject of an arrest warrant. Absent consent or exigent circumstances, a search warrant is needed to arrest someone from the home of a third party. Why is this important? Big G Audits was not at his home. He was at the home of his mother. She is considered a third party. So in order for the police to enter the home and arrest Big G Audits, they would have had to have a search warrant, which they did not have. Big G Audits, I think you have a case. So as we see, these warrants, these citations, everything that happened, it was all based on retaliation. But guess what? None of it was done properly. This is not good. No, we gotta make sure we can hear him. What the hell? What the hell? 
No. <laughs> they came running out that room. We were like, oh. uh -huh. <laughs> It was fun. We were already thankful to shut it in the room. And guys, this is a perfect example of why you should know your rights. Even when the police violate your rights, you later take them into the courtroom and you beat them there. Make sure you know your rights. With that being said, we the People University signing off.